trying to build a little cozy corner over here now I have even more space for books so I'm going to put some on this box here and then others in there my old twilight books are in there um, so yeah hi welcome to another video so this one is going to be a bit different than what I usually post if this is the first one you're seeing for me. My name is Bia, I'm an illustrator from Portugal. I do weekly videos on YouTube where I share my artistic journey. <laughs> I thought this week I could show you how I take my time off because I feel like we are always like on the go, especially if you have a small business and if this is your full-time job we are always really worried about like how we are going to get an income and all of that actually last year i had a burnout i got really tired i basically stopped drawing for months and i wasn't being able to feel creative again because i was like always trying to go search for the next big thing for my business and what else i could do and more and more and more and this year i promised myself that i don't want to do that again and I don't want to get to that point again so what I'm actually trying to do this year is to try to have some days off during the week um, and it has been like easier said than done because even today I already opened my computer once to answer an email um, but I'm trying to not put that much pressure on myself on having like a full day off and I know that comes with time and another thing that I'm trying to do is now that I was filming this video I was like but now I have to make it interesting so my brain was also trying to make my day off productive which is not how i want things to go I'm not sure if this made any sense but yeah i'm not going to have a productive day off we're just going to enjoy the day um take it slow and relax together um doing these videos and all of that i'm also saying that i'm productive all the time which i'm not what you see on my videos and on my studio vlogs sometimes it's like over a period of two weeks sometimes it's just like one day when i'm feeling like super productive but most of the days this is it i'm not productive at all i can't even think and i just want to lay on the couch with a cat it's also my job to show you the reality and normalize doing nothing so that we can you know come to this um and not put too much pressure on ourselves just like looking at other creators and other artists and feel like we have to do more and more and more i think maybe this will start to be a series from series from time to time here on my channel where we can again normalize taking some time off and recharge so we can come back more creative let's enjoy the day let's go to the park have a little walk because it's a lovely day and it's super sunny so i think i'm just going to finish my book here um i've been reading for so long and it's like super short and i really want to finish it so we are going to read this book and then 
we're going to go for a walk and go to a coffee and uh it was my birthday last month and i still have a five euro voucher from the um, the bookshop so maybe we can go buy some books so we'll see how the day goes um i had all of these plans so now i have to go to the museum and i had to do it super interesting but yeah let's make it real and let's just get cozy and enjoy the day I also just got the email saying I was accepted for um, MCM London in May, so I guess I'll see you there. I'm going to be on the Creator Pavilion near the Artist Alley. Yay! <laughs> have like 40 pages left and I've been underlining some things so now I just added some little tags I've been enjoying doing this in some books let me like read you some of the things that I underlined now that's what making a family is all about creating an environment in which people make space for one another maybe without even trying just naturally to make sure that nobody is forgotten I suddenly wanted something of my own something to make space for even if it was just my own and no one else could even see it. Something like a lie. Yeah, it has been like a very simple book. So basically, um, this is a girl that works in an office space and basically she made up a lie that she's pregnant. She worked on a male dominant uh, office space. Small tasks were hers. My work, however, involved a few additional tasks. They weren't named, no one told me that they were mine, it was simply assumed. No one ever told me I had to do these things, but if I didn't take care of it, sooner or later there'd be a little come. Basically just because she is a woman here, um, she is meant to take care of coffees and taking out the trash. Um, so one of the days she gets tired of it and she basically just says that she's pregnant. As we go through the book, um, she doesn't even say it's a lie because she spends her life during this nine months period doing everything a pregnant person would do. She goes to like pregnancy classes, um, she changes the way she eats. But yeah, I'll finish the book later um, because now it's almost like 4 p.m. or something. I still want to enjoy it a bit of the sunshine and daylight. I'm going to take a walk to the park and we are going to one of my favorite coffee shops to eat something because I only had like brunch or like uh, a little late breakfast because I woke up at like 10, 10 30. So yeah, let's go for a walk and let's go to the park and see if we can see some toads. Last time that I went to the park, there was like loads of toads. So let's see if we can find some, but yeah, let's go. Cozy day calls for a cozy outfit. I'm not going to even change for my sweats. <laughs> and tunneling a little longer walk because I really enjoy this part of the town.
I wanted to go to that museum, but it's closing in 10 minutes. They have been rebuilding it um, for some months now, so it has been closed. So maybe we can go together sometime. zero toads today i'm sad we saw like 10 the other day it was crazy and they were huge <laughs> this has been with no water for some time now it looks so ugly this is my favorite spot though I really love listening to the birds. Number one perks of living in this city, it's definitely this park. It's so nice. to the coffee shop and eat something. This building actually burned out a few months ago, but it's still standing.
Hello, it's a few days later, it's actually another day off for me, kind of, because tomorrow I'm going to a convention in Porto, tomorrow is the mounting of the setup and all of that, and then the convention starts at Thursday, it's going to be my first four day event, so I'm kind of dreading it, I'm basically trying to take a day off before the convention, so that I can rest a bit more, because it's always very tiring for me, it's going to be in Portugal, so... It will be way less tiring than to like speak English the whole day um, and doing all the interactions in not my main language. Anyway, I wanted to chat a bit and um, since this have become like a kind of a reading vlog sort of thing, I thought I could talk about the books that I read in February and March. A company here, you can't see him, but my cat had the pleasure of joining us. Let me show you. Here it is. Nino. So cute. Look at him. How are you so pretty? Right back to schedule. <laughs> <laughs> a little cat break. Okay, the first one is Hola Linda or Hello Beautiful already talked about this one. This has been one of my favorite reads from this year already and I think it's still a long way to go until the end of the year but this will be my favorite reading for sure this year or one of them. It's gorgeous, it's stunning, I cried a lot and I still think about the characters daily. I also read Almond in February I really enjoyed it. It's a simple story, but very heartwarming and yeah, I really liked it. Read on my Kindle as well, Platform, Passengers of Platform 5. It's like a simple read, it wasn't my favorite, but it was nice to pass the time. Oh, I also finished the Absinthe uh, Underground. I really enjoyed the book. It's like a sapphic uh, romance kind of thing, but it's passed on the um, Art Nouveau period, so I really enjoyed it, I love that period, I think everything is so pretty and the book did really well at capturing like the ambience of that time, but it's mixed with magic and fantasy. I basically just read the book because of the cover, it was the first thing that grabbed my attention, um, so I read nothing about the book, so I was quite surprised when the fantasy aspects were joined um, with the like real life kind of thing. It was actually recommended like on Storygraph for people that enjoyed Emily Wilde's Encyclopedia of Fairies, which was one of the worst books that I read read last year. I'm so sorry if you enjoyed it. I hated that book and it had everything for me to love it. I really didn't like that book, so I was kind of surprised that I would enjoy this one. I also read one of my favorite books of the year and one of my favorite reads as well. This year has been really good, which is Bunny. I rated this one 4.5 stars when I finished reading it, but I'm going to change it to 5 because what the hell is this book? <laughs> like, I still think about it daily. I can't say the word bunnies without thinking about this book. I can't look at bunnies the same way. Either you're going to hate it or love it, but it's one of the weirdest books that I ever read. It has so many ways that you can look at it. It's like a fever dream. It's amazing. I I I absolutely loved it. I read it with two book two book friends and I'm glad that I did. If you read this one, try to read it with someone else because you're going to to want to talk about it. Then I was in need for some um, 
graphic novels. I've been falling in love with graphic novels since last year, so I finally read Lightfall. Um, the artwork in this is absolutely stunning. It's more like action and adventure packed from the um, graphic novels that I usually read, but I'm definitely going to get the second one. I also read Sion's Tea Party. This has been on my TBR for a while. It's not my favorite, but I still enjoyed it. And then I read Bride. <laughs> I don't even know what to say about this book. This was both in captivating and I couldn't stop reading and both so so weird. It's it's one of the weirdest romance novels that I ever read, but it's mixed with fantasy and it was like the main character was super funny and it was like a twilight renaissance for me and I really enjoyed time twilight back in the day. So this was kind of like really nostalgic for me yeah you have to read it because you're going to see what i mean but the the yeah it's weird <laughs> Right now I'm reading All My Rage, which was one of the um, books of one of the book clubs that I'm part of last month, but I'm still reading it because I couldn't read it last month. I'm reading Stone Blind and I'm also reading What You're Looking For is in the library. All of these are for book clubs, I'm just trying to um, read them and then I'm also going to read The Whispers um, from Ashley Aldrain and yeah, this is my kind of my TBR for this month. I'm really enjoying Stone Blind. I'm not like falling in love with what you're looking for is in the library, but I'm still enjoying it. But yeah, I'm yeah, this is what I've been reading. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to get going on editing this video because I really want to edit it out before going to Porto for Comic Con. It was kind of a more chill, different video, but I hope you still enjoyed it. Don't forget to leave a like, a comment, and all of those things that YouTube loves, and I love it as well. I love chatting with you in the comments. Let me know how you spend your day off. If you are a couch potato like me, or if you are trying to fill your days with stuff to do, um, let me know. Hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye. Bye. Bye.